Hey guys, welcome back to my channel, and today we're going to be doing a book review. And the book I'm going to be reviewing is called The Heroes of Olympus by Rick Riordan. Um, so the book is about three characters, um, Jason, Leo, and Piper. So the book starts off with Jason, Leo, and Piper going on a field trip, going on an amazing journey together. It turns out that each of the kids are actually demigods. And a demigod is a uh, half god, half human. And it's about the Greek and Roman mythology. For, and for those of you who are Greek and Roman mythology lovers, this book would be great for you. So, um, Rick Riordan also wrote Percy Jackson. So if you guys have ever read those books, then you're going to love this book. Um, so the cover, uh, this is a dragon. His name is Thetis, and he is a bronze dragon. This one right here is Leo. This is Jason, and this is Piper. Um, on the back, it says... Uh, it explains each of the characters. Um, it says, Jason has a problem. He doesn't remember anything before waking up in a bus full of kids on a field trip. Apparently he has a girlfriend named Piper and his best friend is a guy named Leo. They're all students at the wilderness school, a boarding school for bad kids, as Leo puts it. What did Jason do to end up here? And why is he here exactly? And Jason doesn't know anything except that he's, everything seems very wrong. And then it explains Piper. Uh, Piper has a secret. Her father is a famous actor and he has been missing for three days ever since she had a terif terrifying nightmare about his being in trouble. Piper doesn't understand her dream or why her boyfriend suddenly doesn't recognize her. When a freak storm hits during the school trip, unleashing strange cre cre creatures and whisking her, Jason and Leo away to some place called Camp Half-Blood, she has a feeling she's going to find out whether she wants to or not. So um, Jason is a son of Zeus. Piper is a child of Aphrodite, I think, and then Leo is a child of, I think his name is Hippotus. I'm probably saying that horribly wrong. Um, so Leo has a way with tools. When he sees his cabin at Camp Half-Blood filled with power tools and machine parts, he feels right at home. But there's weird stuff too, like the curse everyone keeps talking about, and some camper who's gone missing. Weirdest of all, his bunk mates exist, insist that each one of them, including Leo, is related to a god. Does this have anything to do with Jason's amnesia or the fact that Leo keeps seeing ghosts? Join new and old friends from Camp Halfwood in this thrilling book, in this thrilling first book in the Heroes of Olympus series. So this book, um, there's five in the series, and I'm going to be re reviewing each of those books um, in an entire series. There's going to be five videos, and then at the very end, I will do a series review. Um, please subscribe down below. Thank you guys for watching. Hit that like button and subscribe. Thank you.